So in this one, we do know what the video is going to be about. It's going to be something that she really loves. I'm assuming she can still smell the salmon off of me. This video is going to be about salmon. So I'm really excited about this one. I'm keeping it in the coldest part of my refrigerator, wrapped in some paper towels and plastic just to keep it insulated. Copper River Salmon. Beautiful. So in this one, I'm going to be going over how to prepare this salmon for sashimi, eating it raw. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the breakdown, like what parts of the salmon you should use for this raw preparation. Copper River Salmon only comes once a year and it's a beautiful fish. Also, Copper River Salmon doesn't forget to like the video. No, I'm serious. Like the video. I just got in this gorgeous knife from Forgeworks. One thing I'll say about this guy, one thing I'll say about this knife is I love how thin it is. You can't tell on camera, but this has to be one of my thinnest knives I've had for a while. You just slice through an onion like butter. I freaking love it. So this is a, a mix of Damascus and carbon steel, I believe. It's beautiful wood handle. But here's the thing that you guys are gonna be probably excited about. Just look at that handle. So, this one right here, he sent to me just to give away to you guys. So make sure to go follow this guy. I'm gonna put all his info down below. But what I wanna do is, I wanna do a giveaway on this channel. So you guys stay tuned, make sure that you're followed, you're subscribed, you like the video, all that good stuff. I'm gonna be doing the giveaway once I reach 200K on YouTube. Oh guys, okay, so what I have here is about a $200 fish. This Copper River Salmon goes for about $70 a pound and the reason why this fish is so special, this gorgeous fish, beautiful fatty salmon, is because it runs only once a year from Copper River up in Alaska. This was actually flown in to me from Alaska. I can't wait to dig into this beautiful fish. I've got my beautiful slicer ready to go. Now I think it's only right to enjoy this salmon raw. It's fresh, wild caught, so I'm gonna do some sashimi with this, and then the rest we'll save for another video. For the sushi rice, it's really straightforward. I've got some short grain rice here. Always use short grain for sushi. This is Nozomi. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna rinse it with some cold water. Sort of massage it up with your hands and then strain that water out. Repeat this process. Repeat this process until the water comes out clear. As you can see, the water is still kind of milky looking. That means I need to keep rinsing it. This is how you measure. Up to here on your finger. Up to here. See, just like that. I know rice is so straightforward, but I thought I'd just show for the people that have never made it. Um, most, pretty much all Asian households have a rice cooker. So that's the best way to do it. That's the OG way to do it. If you don't have a rice cooker, just put it in the pot on medium heat. And once it comes up to a simmer, cover that thing. Set your timer for 25 minutes. Okay, so let me tell you about the size of the salmon we're gonna use for our sashimi, okay? So this portion right here is the belly. This is like prime for toro, I think it's called toro, toro sashimi. The tail end we do not want to use. We can use this for another video. I'm going to roast it. <clears throat> right about here, this is what you want to use for your sashimi. This right here, we could just cook off on a pan with some butter. Delicious. I'm going to remove that tail first. And this I will use in another video. Beautiful fatty belly. That's great for sashimi as well. This is a great piece to cook on a pan. Now the skin, this can be really good. If we deep fry it, it'll come out as a little nice crispy. Love these. <laughs> the 
Before I slice up this fish, I just want to go ahead and talk about the soy sauce. You can go ahead and use regular Kikkoman soy sauce, that's great. But if you have a nice fish like this, this beautiful Copper River salmon, you gotta do something nice, right? So I have this beautiful Tamago show you that I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do very lightly brush it on there once I'm done slicing it and then serve it with my rice. So now at this end, as you can see, we have a nice block. We've got the grain going this way. What we want to do is cut against that at an angle. So as you can see, we've got a beautiful little slice just like that. You don't want to do it too thin. You want it to have some sort of body to it, you know? So what I'm going to do with this chopped up salmon here, don't, what are you doing? She's like sleeping on the floor with the groceries and the potatoes for some reason. I don't know why. Anyways, so I'm gonna do with this right here. Onion, garlic, my favorite, curry and chili flake. This stuff stank. Okay, so I'm doing about a tablespoon and a half. Green top sambal, the one with the little rooster on it. Do about a tablespoon of that as well. Then two tablespoons of mayo in there, and then we just mix this guy up. I mean, it's basically like a spicy tuna, but I'm doing this with salmon, spicy salmon. <laughs> then look at that, beautiful. We got this spicy salmon ready to go. Now I might just put this into a hand roll or just put it on some rice in a bowl. Call it good, delicious. I have this roasted seaweed right here. You could go ahead and damp your hands up so it doesn't stick, and uh, sumac. This adds a really nice tartness to it. You could also do uh, this plum powder that you can find at Asian stores, but uh, sumac is my favorite. So I put a little bit of that on there. And a generous amount of the spicy salmon. Finish that with some fresh cucumber strips and some avocado. Roll it up however you like. And there you go, hand roll. These are so good, so easy to make. I was first turned on to them when I went to this place called Sweetfish in LA. They're so freaking good there. Of course, the more you practice your rolling, the better you get. Obviously, mine are horrible. So uh, there's that. Hand roll, delicious. Mm. 